Hello, my name is Miranda and welcome to PC Guide. You have likely clicked on this video because you're having issues trying to play games on Windows 11. Today I'm going to be showing you how to fix .NET framework not working within Windows 11, specifically when trying to launch games on Steam that require .NET. When trying to launch a game, you will quickly be prompted to download .NET Framework 3.5 and when you agree to the install, the installation fails with the error code on screen now. Does this sound familiar? That's because this has been an error in Windows stemming way back to at least 7. On to the fix then. There's a few ways you can go about this. So to maximize your chances of getting it fixed, we're going to show you all we know. Firstly, try to download the newest version of .NET Framework. To do this, simply navigate over to Microsoft's website. The link will be in the description to make it easier for you. And make sure to download version 4.8, the latest version at the time this video was recorded. It's normally the very top option. Next, just drag that to your desktop and try to run it. Now, if the installation succeeds for you, then great. Go ahead and enjoy your game. But if you're anything like us and get met with the reassuring message .NET Framework 4.8 or a later update is already installed on this computer, don't worry, we have a few more things for you to try. Next, we can try using Microsoft's .NET Repair Tool, a feature that breaks so much it requires its own repair tool. Again, head over to the relevant website, link is also in the description, and download the tool. Repeat the steps from last time, drag the repair tool to the desktop and run it. Just agree to the licensing and follow the steps until you get met with changes complete. Now you're free to try reinstalling the faulty .NET framework update. Now if this is also fails, then we can get a little more technical and head over to our search bar and type turn Windows features on or off. And at the very top of the list, we will see any versions of .NET Framework installed on the PC. As you can see, we evidently have .NET Framework 3.5, so go ahead and try to enable it by checking the checkbox, clicking OK, and then telling Windows to update to download the files for you. For us, however, this doesn't work and we get met with the same error as using the standalone installer. Next are the final two steps that should solve the problem if none of the previous steps have already. What you need to do is navigate to the search bar again and type CMD. Right-click on Command, Prompt and select Run as Administrator. So now all you want to do is type SFC slash scan now. This is Windows built-in system file checker and will scan the OS for any errors or corrupt files. If Windows finds nothing, we're down to our final step. Also, don't panic too much. If Windows does find something, it is actually normal to have a couple of errors on a well-used PC. Please note, for this last step, you will need your bootable USB installed media for Windows 11, and you will also need to know its drive letter. Ours happens to be the E drive, so we'll need to remember that for the next command. So back into the command prompt then, we're going to want to type this command that's on screen now. I'll put that in the description as nobody has the time to manually type this out. But, and this is important, remember how I asked you to remember your installed media drive letter. This is where you need to replace the letter quoted after slash source with your drive letter you have for your install. So our letter is E, so our command will become slash source E. This is just a deployment image service and management command that in very, very short words is basically being asked to install only a specific feature from a Windows install, this of course being .NET Framework. Allow that command to run until you see the words the operation has completed successfully. Now, one of these fixes should have worked for you, the last one of which had the most success in the majority of cases, but I just wanted to cover all of the available bases. There we go then. That was how to fix .NET Framework on Windows 11. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to this channel and I'll see you in the next one.